There's an investigation underway after a 26-year-old amateur race car driver died in a fiery crash in Albany. Nine News can reveal Brodie Ford wasn't registered to drive his father's high-powered Mustang. Tonight, he's being remembered as a courageous and loving young man. This is the white Ford Mustang just moments before tragedy struck. I saw lots of smoke coming from off the horizon in this direction. The 26-year-old victim is amateur driver Brody Ford. Nine News understands he wasn't registered to be behind the wheel of the high-powered vehicle, but his dad was. Brody Ford was competing in the Race Wars runway event yesterday at Albany Airport when the Mustang failed to stop at the end of the track. It crashed through a fence, flipped several times and broke apart before catching fire in this paddock. The car designed to reach speeds of 230 kilometres an hour. The car was still here, all burnt out. Um, two, the, I think the back two wheels were way off in the paddock and rolled forwards and the I think it was his helmet on the ground in front of the car. Um, I heard that that helmet completely cracked in half. So it must have been a very, very hard impact. The 26-year-old was flown to Royal Perth Hospital but died overnight with friends and family by his side. His mother, Linda Ford, telling Nine News, we hold no grudges against race wars. We're not going about changing things. You do it at your own risk. Brody did what he loved to do. We don't know what caused it and we're waiting for answers. Friends also took to social media to pay tribute to their mate. My heart is broken. I never thought this day would come. He was courageous, ambitious and loving. You flew into the stars doing something you loved dearly. It was the second crash in a matter of hours yesterday. Another driver injured and taken to Albany Hospital after his parachute failed to fire. The independent event organised outside the normal governing body of the Confederation of Australian Motorsport is now under investigation. Police and major crash reviewing all safety measures. Yesterday's events were suspended after the tragedy, but organisers defended the race going ahead today, saying motorsport is a cruel mistress at times, but we all understand the risks of participation. The safety measures that are in place, it's, it's a straight line run. Um, the airport runway is about 1.8 kilometres long, so you've got plenty of time to slow down as a rule. We don't know what happened to this, this stage. And Michael Stamp is in Albany tonight. Michael, Brody Ford's friends have visited the crash site. Well, Michael, only in the past half an hour, friends have been visiting the crash site here in Albany, remembering and paying tribute to their mate, Brody Ford, but also trying to determine how this tragic crash unfolded. Meanwhile, the state government is in the process of developing a WA motorsports strategy which will examine the merits of introducing a legislative approach of licensing and sanctioning of track-based motorsport events. Now, Sport and Recreation Minister Mick Murray says he always expects the organisers of motorsport events to make safety the highest priority. Major crash officers are leading this investigation into what went wrong. Race Wars organisers are cooperating with police and they have assisted them with their investigation. Michael. Michael, thank you. Michael Stamp with that update.